What's the difference between internal and external links on your WordPress website? Okay, let me explain this. I think you, I, I'm going to take it for granted that you understand what a link is. A link is just a, you know, a word or a series of words that is uh, usually underlined or in a different color that leads to uh, a different web page, right? When the user clicks on it, it automatically brings them to a different page. Okay, you know what that is. You're, you're familiar with links. We can add links to our content, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we do that, we need to talk about the difference between internal links and external links, okay? Internal links are links that lead to another page on your website. We call them internal because you're not going outside or you're not leaving the site. You're not external. It's not a site that's external to your website. You're just talking about a page that is within your website. Let me give you an example here. Let's say I wanted to, okay, let's go back to the front page here and look at the other uh, things that we have here. Let's say I wanted to link to this sample page, okay, and I wanted it to be linked, okay, in this article, this sample article right here, I wanted to have a link that will go straight to the sample page. Okay, that would be an internal link because it's just leading the user to a different page within your website. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually just going to go ahead and say here, whoops, this is the sample page. Okay, I'm just going to add this little item right here. And then here's adding links is really simple. There's no coding involved. We're going to select sample page. These are the words that I want to create. I want these words to be the link. Okay, I want the user to be able to click on the word sample page and I want it to go to that sample page right there. This is how I'm going to do it. See right here? In, uh, in the toolbar here, uh, we want to click on the thing that looks like a chain, okay, a couple of links in a chain, insert edit link, so we're going to go ahead and click on that, and uh, we have a little dialog box that shows up here, okay, we can move this around if we want to. What I'm going to do, because this is an internal link, is I would like to link to what's called existing content. This is content that already exists on my page. Let's click this little triangle here to see what the existing content is. And here we see all the existing content that already exists on our web page. We don't have that much right now, so we can see it all on one page. Uh, usually a website's going to have tons of content on it, so you might have to do a little search here to find it. But in this case, the page we want to link to is right here, sample page. So I'm just going to click it, and look, it automatically fills all this stuff out. It, it puts the URL in here, okay, the address, automatically, and then it even puts a title, okay, and it automatically puts the title of the page, and that makes a lot of sense. You do need to have something here, okay, highly recommend you put something there. So in this case, it's already filled it out for you. That was easy, no typing involved. So we like that. So let's go ahead and click Add Link, okay, and let's go click Update, and we're updating that. While we're waiting for that to update, I'm going to go ahead and reload this. I can tell that's done because the little circle thing stopped. So I'll go ahead and reload this. And there we go. There's our link right here. Okay. And notice that it shows up. It's blue and underlined. Okay. And that's to distinguish it from these that are just simple underlines. But, you know, that's a very subtle color difference. So this is why, see how this can actually look a little confusing? Probably not a good idea to have that underlined. Um, but let's go ahead and click on this to make sure that this link works. Yes, and it works. And it brings us straight through to the sample page. If we want to go back, we'll just click the back button. And there we go. That's how we add an internal link to our web page or to uh, to any sort of content on a WordPress site. In the next screencast, I'm going to show you how to add external links to your posts. So I'll see you then.